All right, people, welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. My people, things that happen, oh, things are happening in this country. The fear of the law is the beginning of wisdom. So, um, now so it happened, oh, it happened yesterday in Abuja. I will say, Pastor Iran, leave church member because see, they were arrested. So, now so the matter be, oh, now what's in a semi now today be that, too. Oh well, my people, we could come around or we could hear. Or, ah, all right, guys. Drama ensued in Abuja hmm, on Sunday as pastor members ran away. Eventually, pastor was caught. He had to deny his members. You know, um, the irony of the matter is that why would the pastor go against the law of the land? And eventually, when he was caught, he denied and denied his members. And the worst part of it was that some of his members were, you know, there saying that, why would you deny us? You are lying and all that. How will that pastor see himself and how will those people, members, see their pastors further? It is really, really sad and appalling. It's a video. I'd like you to watch the video, you know. Watch the video for yourself and see for yourself how he's been denying, how he denied, how he denied his people. A pastor should not deny his flocks. You messed up, you messed up. And in the first place, if you want to keep your character, keep your integrity, then you did not have to actually um, go against the government's rules and regulation. You had no reason to go against the law. If the government has said no gathering of more than 20 people, no gathering whatsoever, no, no no religious gathering whatsoever, church mocks, be that what be it what it is, no gathering of church members, then you should stay clear. But this pastor probably did not obey, uh, though he was saying it was, it was Catholic people that normally come there and it will gather on the mountain and all what have you, but all those uh, were, uh, uh, you know, medicine after death. He was the one that was seen, he was the one that was caught. So, well, it's what it is. I'd like you to watch the video and see for yourself how he was caught and um, all the things he was saying, the excuses he was actually given. Drama ensued on Sunday as three pastors of some new generation churches denied their ministries and members after operatives of the federal ministries of, sorry, after operatives of the federal ministry or federal capital territory COVID-19 ministerial enforcement team attempted to arrest them for violating the federal government's ban on all religious gatherings. Trouble started when the enforcement team on COVID-19 restrictions stormed the area following a tip-off but found it difficult to identify worshippers and their religious leaders. You see, from the way they dressed, so they dressed in a way that um, at the end of the day, they were confused or they will confuse the uh, the pastors, they will confuse, sorry, the the law enforcement agents. They will confuse the law enforcement agents. That is what they actually did. But be that as it were, I'd like you to watch the video for yourself and see how things went. Nobody. No, no. This is this is the this is the this crowd. Children, mother, father, women cannot come with nobody. Excuse me. No, okay, sorry, sir. In congregational worship, as this, no, okay, I'm coming no, now. As this one. No, you are a pastor. Yes, no. You know what it means by this crowd took their bath. This crowd birthed their children. This crowd dressed their children. This crowd cannot come to a place of nobody. That is how people troop this mountain with their family. Okay. No, with that, okay, that is it, sir. No, 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 sorry. No, sorry. Hey, you the whole okay. How come the whole place is so filled? Thank you. What happened? Thank you. That is how they used to come. Thank God that you people could locate here. Uh, Catholic people are the 
the one that normally fill here. Yes. And when they do all the ayufu, they go. And yes. the one who always bear the, the, the yes. something, that is my anger. And that is why I fought that boy this morning. As he was climbing up, I told him, the other is that nobody should worship here. And he does not agree with me. They are fighting me. Why did you fight him? Well, I fight him. I said, you should not They should not more than they no, should no, no, worship no, here. No, but pastor, you should not fight now. No. Well, no, I don't think pastor that no. Who is there? No, somebody would have gathered there. Okay, I'm still that. no listen now. In the flocks, are you getting me now? The flocks of God always have a shepherd. shepherd yes. Pastor what who oversee there. In I'm this case the, now, in this case, I am not all these people that gather here. You mean they don't have leader? By the grace of God, that's what bring me before you. And I'm happy that I meet you today, sir. I'm not convinced. Yes, sir. That is no, if no, you no, only no, no. give me one minute no, no, to no, say no, me no, once, no, sir. No, no, I'm asking you, no, no. People I see here, I tell you, hey, sir. On Wednesday, multitude are here more than this. They are Catholic people. Immediately, your men are climbing up. They jump some fell. They run away. They I am the one that stands. Yeah, you break your phone, okay? I don't think break your phone. Who broke your phone? Easy one. Uh, what what led to it? Uh, uh, no, uh, if you can say the truth. See, this, don't this, this, tell me say what's going Why do we fight? Why do we fight? That's what we fight. I said, why do we fight? I did not record that. You said the Alright, guys. So, you've seen the video. He was. He even fought with somebody that was trying to capture, you know, the moment. Well, the pastors who had petitioned a mountain at the federal housing area of Lube district traded words among themselves and even denied stewardship of the large crowd worshipping at the hilltop. After a brief interrogation, the three pastors were identified as Ibitoye Kayode of the Liberty Faith Gospel Church, Joshua Olaniru of Liberty Gates Ministry and Vitalis Udeazi of Dominion Chapel. Despite attempts to conceal his identity, Vitalis Udeazi of Dominion Chapel insisted that none of his members was present at the time the tax force arrived at the mountain top. The denial resulted in a protest from the other pastors, even as some of his members identified him as their pastor. For Joshua Olandiru of Liberty Gate Ministry, who argued that he was not among those holding worship session, a resident of the community availed the task force of a video clip which showed the cleric holding a worship session. A development which led to a fight about an hour before the task force personnel arrived. Addressing the pastors, the chairman of the task force, Ikaru Atta, queried why they all had to deny their followers. Why are you all denying these large crowds of worshippers? No one among you agreed that anyone came to worship with them, even when they turned out in large numbers. One of you even went ahead to deny being a pastor, he queried. In a similar development, another cleric, Pastor Efiong Basi of the Holiness Revival Ministry Church, Karamajiji, was apprehended for holding a church service to mark the 60th birthday of a retired military colonel, P.E. Ibong, who left the military in 2015. Addressing the pastor, Atta said, You cannot hold a worship service in defiance of the directives of the commander-in-chief just to mark the 60th birthday of a retired colonel. Even for a serving colonel, it is very wrong. You have to come with us and explain it to the magistrates at the mobile court. The clerics were consequently arraigned before a mobile court presided over by Magistrate Akone, who found them guilty and fined them 5,000 naira each in addition to three hours of community service. The team also shut down the informal sector at the Duse Al Haji market, which was fully in operation on Sunday in contravention of the administration's guidelines. Four traders were arrested and arraigned at the mobile court. So guys, this is what it is. Oh, Nigeria, a lot of people are hungry. A lot of people want to go about their businesses. They don't want to care about the coronavirus. And um, they just want to keep living their lives normally. 
Well, it remains to be seen if the lockdown would be um, lifted and that if activities would uh, be allowed to resume. The president is meant to address the nation today. So until then, we keep our fingers crossed. Well, drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.